were ordered to evacuate Ostrolenka. We don't take nothing, we just as we are to the ghetto Vilna. The ghetto Vilna was very bad. They took out people from the ghetto into the woods to dig the ditches, then they fill them up with people. You do not want to think about it. At night, I wake up and it comes in, in, your, in your memories. In the ghetto, it was very difficult to make a living. My brothers were involved in the partisans and in the underworld. What we might refer to as a uh, connected family. Connected family. <laughs> Mob connected. That they were involved in illegal activities on the outside before the war. They were smuggling stuff from the outside into the ghetto. In that way, you could make a living. The other way, you just died out. They started to eliminate the ghetto Vilna. When I left it, ghetto Vilna, I left it my father and mother in the ghetto. My brother was making shoes for the Germans, so he made it with them a deal. He made it a pair of shoes for his girlfriend, and for that, he transferred me into Kivyali too. And then I was together with my brother. My brother was lucky because being as a shoemaker, the German kept him inside, not outside. So then later was another deal to make me join him in the shoe place. They brought it in a group of Polacks into Kivjoli. One of them, we recognize him from Australanka. It was to our luck that she was a cook. We got an opportunity of extra food. With this food in the connection with the cook, the work I was doing, helping my brother, that was the only lucky thing to bring me today alive. The evacuation was on two ships. We found it out that one of the ships, they sank with the people. It 
it is very hard to explain how you are living in, the, in these conditions. Paper bags from cement were your clothes. How were you getting the bread? You know, everybody wants the end because it lasts a little longer. You might think a little longer. Now the hard crust, you're chewing it longer. And I don't know at which point, okay, I do know that he was hit in the side of the head by a baton by one of the German uh, guards. And I only found out about it when, you know, basically it lost most of his hearing. the last one of his generation in my family. There are so many survivors at this point that are dying off. We have deniers in the world without these stories. People are going to believe the deniers. <laughs>